Hello everyone and welcome to the Exert group session tutorial. This is Scott from the Exert team and I'm coming at you today from the Exert Breakthrough Lab. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up and participate in Exert group sessions. You might be asking yourself, what is a session? Well, you're currently in a session right now. An Exert session is an experience that allows you to perform a workout as well as watch a time-synced YouTube video. You can also listen to Spotify, uh, participate in Zoom meetings. You can perform these sessions either solo by yourself or as part of a group. And what this allows us to do is it allows athletes with a wide range of fitness signatures to experience the, the same workout, uh, each relative to their own fitness. This is something that Exert can do really well. By the end of today's video, I'll explain how you can pair your fitness sensors with Exert, uh, how you can open uh, and interact with the Exert session player, and also how you can upload a neat group ride uh, summary to your Strava feed. I'm also going to be covering some basic troubleshooting steps in case you run into any technical difficulties along the way. By the way, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I recommend that you head over to Exert and watch the Exert session tutorial from the Exert sessions page. I'll put a link in the video description. I'll start by explaining what you'll need to participate in an Exert group session. First of all, you're going to need a mobile device that is running the Exert EBC app. Exert EBC will act as your companion allowing you to pair to your fitness sensors, as well as controlling your smart trainer during the workout. Secondly, you'll need an internet browser connection uh, in order to access the Exert session player. You can access the session player from a tablet, uh, from a laptop, or from a desktop. Really, any internet browser will do. In order to access that session player, you can head to exertonline.com video. I'll also put that, that link in the video description. Continuing on, we'll start by uh, installing the Exert EBC app. Those of you on iOS-based devices can head to the App Store, and those of you with Android-based devices can head to the Google Play Store. You'll want to search for the Exert EBC app, download, and install the app. Once the app has installed, you can open it up and sign in with your Exert username and password. If you've already done that, you're ready to continue, uh, if you haven't done that yet, I recommend pausing the video here and doing that. Once you have the app downloaded and you've signed in, you can press the continue button. Now that you've downloaded the Exert EBC app and have signed in, you might have noticed a notification from either your iOS or Android based device about location services or Bluetooth connections. It's important that you enable these, uh, these notifications. This allows EBC to connect and pair to your fitness sensors, as well as record GPS data if you happen to use EBC for an outdoor ride. Now uh, I'm going to show you how you can pair your fitness sensors with the EBC app. Those of you uh, using the iOS app will simply tap on the settings button in the bottom right hand corner. Those of you using the Android-based device will tap on Settings and select Sensors from the list. You'll see here that from this point, both apps are the same, so I'm going to be using the iOS app uh, to continue this demonstration. The very minimum requirement to participate in an Exert Group session will be power data. And so to pair a power source, I'm simply going to tap on the uh, power source uh, category. Exert EBC will then display all available nearby power sources. Uh, these could be your power meter, uh, it could be your smart trainer, uh, etc. In this demonstration here, I'm going to be using my Elite Trainer uh, as the power source. I'm going to tap it, and once the app has connected and is receiving data from that sensor, uh, the sensor icon will actually turn blue, and you'll see the current output from that sensor. Those of you that are using smart trainers uh, will also want to pair your, your smart trainer underneath the trainer control category. Once again, in this example, I'm going to pair my elite trainer trainer as uh, uh, underneath the trainer control. 
And once again, you'll see that the icon will turn blue. If you have a heart rate monitor or a cadence sensor, you can feel free to pair those sensors in their appropriate category. And if you want to test things out, uh, you can try hopping on your bike and pedaling. You should see the live data update in Exert EBC. Exert EBC will automatically calculate your speed and distance from your power data using the default speed from power setting underneath the speed sensor. We recommend leaving that setting alone. Now, if you've had a chance to hop on your bike and pedal and try things out, uh, you should hopefully see your live data coming through. However, I'm going to cover a couple basic troubleshooting tips in case you ever run into a scenario where you're not able to pair to a fitness sensor uh, or you're not receiving data from those fitness sensors. So stick around and I'm going to cover a couple of those troubleshooting steps next. If you aren't finding your fitness sensors underneath a particular category, it's possible that the sensor is either idle and not reporting data, the battery is dead, or that the fitness sensor is already paired to another app. Remember that your fitness sensors can only pair to one app at a time, so it's important to ensure that all other training apps uh, are closed on uh, tablets, laptops, and desktops nearby. To wake up your sensors, try pedaling, backpedaling a handful of times. If you're still not seeing the sensor, you should check on the sensor battery level. If you're having issues connecting to your smart trainer, I recommend unplugging your smart trainer, waiting approximately 10 seconds, and plugging the smart trainer back in. Many times this will help reset the trainer connection. If you've tried all those steps and you're not finding your fitness sensors, I recommend closing and reopening the Exert EBC app. EBC will pick up right where you left off, even if you're in the middle of a workout. Uh, and Exert EBC won't lose any of your data. So if you ever encounter sensor uh, difficulties in the middle of a session, feel free to close and reopen the app. If you've tried all of those things and you're still experiencing difficulties, I recommend a full reboot of your mobile device. If you've tried all of those steps and you're still having difficulties connecting to your fitness sensors, it's best to reach out to our technical support team. I'll link their email in the video description. Now that your sensors are paired, let's go over and start the session. To do this on iOS, you'll tap the Train tab, and you'll notice that EBC will display your group session in the center. You'll tap on that session, and you'll notice a play button at the bottom of the page. Those of you that are on Android-based devices uh, can navigate to the Activity tab. And here, Exert EBC will display information about your session, such as the workout, uh, any participants, and a, a summary of your paired fitness sensors. You'll also notice a start button at the bottom of the page. If you've gotten this far in the video, you can push the play button to start recording your session. Looks like you've managed to start your Exert session. What I want you to notice is that the YouTube video has started playing and your workout has started along the bottom of the session player. If you happen to be on your bike and pedaling right now, you should also see your live data coming in in the top left hand corner of the session player. If you are seeing that live data come in right now, then you're all set to participate in your first Exert group session. By the way, uh, when you've reached the scheduled start time of your first Exert Group session, EBC will automatically start the uh, session for you. There's no need to manually push the start button. If you'd like to perform an additional warm up and have that data recorded as part of your workout, uh, you can do that up to 30 minutes before the scheduled start time of your session. If you happen to be running late for your session, Exert EBC will st start the session in progress and you'll skip ahead in the workout to join the rest of the session participants. I'll quickly walk you through the Exert session player interface and features. 
In the top left hand corner, as I mentioned before, you should see information about your current power, heart rate, cadence, and your maximum power available, or MPA. Above those gauges, you'll find the title of the current interval that you're in. If you look closely at the cadence gauge, you'll notice a series of red and green bands, where the green band indicates the optimal cadence for your current power based on, your, uh, on the power itself and on your cadence preferences, while the red bands that flank the, the green band indicate that your cadence is too low or too high for the current power. On the right-hand side of your Exert Session player, you'll see a workout overview, uh, or sorry, a workout data table. If you happen to be doing a group session, this is where you'll see the leaderboard. Underneath each user's name in the leaderboard, you'll see a relative intensity number. Uh, and what, what this is, is Exert's way to quantify how hard each athlete in the session is working relative to their own fitness. This allows you to participate in exert group workouts, whether you're a, uh, a novice or a beginner, or if you're a professional athlete. You'll see that the relative intensity will be roughly equivalent for all athletes in the session as you progress throughout the workout. By default, the leaderboard is sorted by how far ahead or behind you are of other leaders, uh, of other members of the session. If you wish to change this, you can click the, uh, the columns button on the top left-hand part of the leaderboard and you can filter by a wide variety of metrics. Running along the bottom of the exert session player, you'll see a rolling 10-minute window of the exert workout. If you wish to see the entire workout at once, you can simply select the zoom toggle and you'll see the entire workout uh, in one panel. If you want to show or hide additional information on that panel, you can simply click on the information in the legend. Lastly, in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll find the group chat. You'll need to click on the uh, blue button to sign into Rocket Chat with your Exert account and participate in the group discussion. The Exert session player will automatically size itself depending on the size of your browser window. However, if things aren't looking quite right, I recommend clicking on the settings button in the top right hand corner and selecting the reset button. If things still aren't looking correctly, you can try refreshing the browser page. The session player will reload and the YouTube video and workout will pick up right where they left off. I'll also mention at this time that if you are having any technical difficulties with the EBC app, you can simply close and reopen the app and the uh, EBC app will once again pick right back up where you left off. You don't need to worry about losing any of your data. Here I'll give you some tips and tricks to using the Exert Session Player during your group sessions. First of all, many of our group sessions will feature a built-in Spotify playlist. To access Spotify from the Session Player, hover over the edges of the YouTube video and select one of the directional arrows. When you want to head back to the YouTube video, select one of those uh, directional arrows again. Next, I wanna talk about trainer mode types. Uh, when participating in Exert group workouts, you'll want to make sure that the Exert EBC app is in auto mode in the bottom left-hand corner. This is the default mode for EBC. And what this means is that the app will automatically switch from ERG uh, into other trainer modes depending on your workout. Many of you are familiar with ERG mode where the app will automatically control the resistance from your trainer. However, some interval types, such as sprint intervals, are not well suited for doing er uh, for ERG mode. In situations like these, the EBC app will automatically switch into slope mode where you'll need to use your gears and cadence to hit the interval target powers. When the sprint interval is over, Exert will automatically switch back into ERG mode. So once again, uh, I recommend making sure that your app is left in auto mode in the bottom left-hand corner. Lastly, I wanted to talk about different interval types. Along the bottom of the Exert session player, 
uh, you'll see uh, information about the timing of the upcoming interval with a vertical bar uh, on the workout chart. The, uh, the interval guide will also provide information about the target power of the upcoming interval as well as the interval type. When your group session has ended, you'll want to stop and save the activity. To do this on iOS, you'll tap the stop button and select save from the menu. Those of you using EBC on an Android device will want to either swipe up on the screen or tap the back button on your Android device. You'll select the stop button and save your activity. When the activity is saved, it will automatically upload uh, to Exert. And if you have your Strava account linked, Exert will automatically push that workout to Strava along with a neat report. You'll want to make sure that you've authorized Strava with Exert. To do this, head to Sync, Strava, and sign in with your Strava account. That's all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. You should be all set to participate in your first exert group session.